Hello, everyone. Welcome back. To more Zelda. We're on episode four or episode five. Episode something, yeah. Episode something. Indeed. And, uh, yeah. We're, We're going to do a, gonna uh, a couple more shrines. Yes. And that There's shrines gonna... all around here, man. There's shrines everywhere. Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. Yeah, get right. that oil, man. That oil is good. Oreos. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the? <laughs> Climb up. Yeah, whoa, what was that? Oh, Flint. Oh, yeah. Some Flint. Flint is useful. Yeah, kind of. It can be very Some useful. Some opal. That Ooh. sells for 60 rupees. That sells for a decent amount. Yeah, man. Now, the shrine is, uh, there is a shrine below here. Yes, right? there's a shrine around here somewhere. Just give me about, I don't know, a few minutes yeah, to find it. A couple minutes to find it. Why does oh. he keep doing that, man? It's just like cloth. Rock salt and flint. Yes. That's pretty good. Oh. Got the alarm. Another I have, like, the worst phone timing. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Yay, that is. Yeah, man. Oh, this is, the, yeah, read the dahi. This is where you get the burn dinner. The burn dinner. The burn of climbing speed. Indeed. Which I shall equip that. Of climbing speed, indeed. Yeah, that's very useful, Until especially early on. Until I get to on. Kakariko Village. Yep. There's it's... also a couple more shrines. Those two shrines we talked about in the previous episode, I'm going to get to where I can warp to them. Oh, okay, yeah. And then head on to Kakariko. Kakariko. Okay. Yes, son. Timing is crucial. Timing is oh, critical. Oh, yes, yeah, critical, yeah, yeah. Critical yep, role. except for on this first part. <laughs> <laughs> Critical, Critical role. role. Uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys should go watch some Critical Role if you like D&D. &D. Oh, yeah, it's really great. And especially if you like the voice actor, you know, Matthew Mercer. Yes. Or Travis Willingham. Indeed. Marisha Ray, Talison those, Jaffe, those guys Sam are awesome. Regal. All those guys are awesome. And Critical Role is D&D. Uh, &D. It's you, playing you? through Matt's uh, world of... Yeah, Sandra. Yeah. Craziness and awesomeness. Did you mention Liam? Oh, yeah, Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien. Not Liam Neeson? Not Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But yeah, uh, you guys uh, should go check it out. Go check it out, yeah. It's definitely I watch it all the time, except I can't watch it now because my internet's dead. Oh, man, that sucks. I hate when the internet's down. My, well, my computer blew up, so I was like, eh, I couldn't watch really anything but then my playstation 4 decided to step up its game and say hey man i got you i got you man. <laughs> and uh so i got really great internet on my playstation 4 that just randomly oh, just started barely, working just barely yeah that was nasty okay i will get that treasure chest yeah we know how to do it you guys know how to do it well i didn't know you could do that i did it a different way now yeah, man. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I did it by taking a barrel from the other side and setting it on there. I used to just set weapons and bombs on and those there's things. there's the bandana. You guys can, uh, pro tip, you can set your heavy weapons on those things too. With them and, uh, and then you can magnesis them back to you. Cool. Or you can just go back and pick it up once you get the chest if you need to. Link's wearing a bandana. He's a biker. Yeah, he looks pretty snazzy. <laughs> He's a pretty snazzy looking biker. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool with a bandana. Yep. Uh, that's one thing I like about this game is it's, you can have all kinds of different armor. It's not just your standard tunic. Yep. Which, the tunic is awesome, but it's just, it's really cool that Link can be like a knight in this one, like armored like yeah, a knight. Armor. Or I don't like, really use that. Like I, chill. I just, he can dress like a lady. It's, it's yeah, hilarious. He can. It's pretty cool. Uh, the armor set that I get in Kakariko Village is the armor set I use through the entire game. That's awesome. I uh, if it, if I'm uh, in a thunderstorm because I, I thought that my armor was a deal which I think it is if you use a knight's armor, but uh, <laughs> I would just equip the uh, the the Gerudo armor <laughs> and just run around like that <laughs> a lot of times because it's it's uh, your your weapons. I don't think it has anything to do with your. Weapons. It may not, but sure I, I used to weapons. unequip my uh, knight's armor though because it's made entirely of metal. Well, almost. Yeah. Oh, and it's really cool. I would like to I like to put the knight's armor on, uh, but with the Zora's vest, it actually looks better. In my opinion. It's a cooler looking knight outfit. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy, and it works perfectly. Like uh -huh. the color palette and everything is nice. It's really snazzy. Okay, how do I get up there? Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. I don't think is there. 
I think there's a treasure chest, but I don't care. There might be. Um, I'm actually going around. It's a fairly way. empty. I kind of have to go around a long way to be able to start climbing up the mountain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're going to the Dueling Peaks now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love climbing, dude. Climbing is, like, <laughs> one of my favorite things that this game has to oh, offer. Oh, I see. I go up there, and then I drop down. But, yeah. Drop down what? Onto that platform. Uh, I think there's see. I don't think I can oh, climb. I might can climb. You can, you can get up there. Well, I have a bunch to climb. We'll yeah. try. Uh, we'll try. I'll I get the speedy bandana. Yeah, you can also, like I said, you can use that technique there and run for a lot of this kind of stuff. Especially if you're on the back side of the mountain, like where it slopes better, then it's a lot easier. But yeah, pro tip, guys. Do this a lot when you're climbing in this game. It will make your life a lot better, and uh, you'll you, be able to make it a lot further sometimes. Uh, sometimes sloped mountains, not just flat. Yes, you can't like, do like it right straight here, up. You cannot, you cannot do, do it. it. Yeah. You will die. You will fall in. But if there's a slope... Make use of that because, oh my god, when I found that out, it's like, it makes it to where you can climb things that you wouldn't normally be able to climb straight up uh, with with one, like, early in the beginning. Stamina yeah. gauge, you'd have to have, like, a triple gauge or something, uh, and it makes a lot more stuff accessible to you, so I use that often. I usually, the best, is, you really only need two stamina gauges. Yeah, to be honest, that's probably, that's probably plenty. I, I honestly want to max it out if I can. Mine. It takes a while. Yeah. You have to do a lot of shrines. I know. I've already done 30 something of them just to get to Master Sword. <laughs> a lot of shrinage. But hey, yes. this game is cool. It's fun. And it's, it's really cool because you can really. This is a game that you can just kind of sit down if you want after you've, you know, beat it or whatever, or just after you you get kind of cool with it and you're just like, eh, you know, I'm going to play it, you know, when I really want to play it or whatever. And you can just kind of chill with it and be like, yeah, I think I'm going to turn it on, complete the shrine, you know. And it doesn't take long to do that. You can explore, or you can play it as long as you want, but you don't have to play it long. Yeah. This, we may not be able to make it up. Yeah, we will. Currently. Ah, uh, that's a long way. Well, if you get over there, maybe. Well, I don't know, because that looks straight. I can't tell. Well, we're running on this, so maybe. No, I can't. <laughs> uh, I should go over. Yeah, so say if you can get to that ledge, then we can make it. Yeah. You have to be strategic in this game about your climbing, and that's something I love. Yes. The fact and that I they didn't cook did food that. with the stamella mushrooms, so I could restore some stamina. Oh, did you do that already? No, I didn't. Oh, I okay. should have. That's something I have not done in this game. But that is another thing you what, can do. Cooking? Uh, no, I've cooked, but I, I haven't made anything that boosts my stamina oh. to where I could actually do stuff like that. But you can, like... I believe, anyway, you can eat and gain more stamina while you're doing all of these types of things, and yeah. so you can keep going for a lot longer. But there are I, some <laughs> mountains, however, that... Whew. Yeah, so that's but another, once you another beat the, alternative. Uh, once you beat the the bird, you get Rivali's Gale. Rivali's Gale, which helps tremendously. Tremendously. It, it is amazing. That is probably my favorite ability you get. Uh, other than I really like uh, Mipha's Grace. That one, is, <laughs> that one comes it's in like handy. It's like a free fairy. It's like a free fairy plus because yeah. it gives you extra hearts. And Mipha's just a sweetie. It's pretty great. Yeah. I really liked Mipha. I thought it was pretty cool. I liked all of the characters, actually. I also liked uh, Daruk, I think. Oh, yeah, Daruk. And Rivali was awesome. Yeah. I mean, they, they were all great. Urbosa was yeah. typical Gerudo lady. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But I really I liked all their characters. They did a really good job, I think, on the... Like, Creating the personalities that would work well for that kind of team that they were creating. Yeah. And that's really cool. <laughs> I kind of, like, I really like the Rivali's personality. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. It was just fun. Oh, well, well, we're getting closer to the top. Yes! I can't, can I climb it? You think I can? Uh, let me see it again. Uh, yeah, I think you can. I don't know, you can try it. <laughs> it it's always worth a shot, I think. Especially, like... I think this one should be. Yeah, you should definitely be able to climb that, I think. Uh, the easiest mountains to climb are probably like Death Mountain and stuff like that around there because, like, Goron yeah. Mountains are full of rocks that jut out in all different ways you can just rest on. Yep. But any smooth mountains, like the ice places or the desert, a lot of times there's a lot of smooth, like, yeah, kind of almost like clay mountain stuff that's, like, really it's hard like, it's to like, climb. Uh, I don't know the name of the state. Yeah, I don't Where you know. got all those plateaus and stuff. Yeah, oh, is it a blood moon? Are we, are we about to we about to see the first blood moon? I don't think so. Maybe it's just sunset. It's just sunset. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're almost at the top wow, of this thing. Most of this episode is me climbing. Yeah, it's going to be the climbing episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, climbing is fun, though. 
<laughs> it really is a lot of climbing, but hey, if you guys do this, you get to the top of this mountain. There's probably a quicker way, but... Uh, probably. It'd be fun if we just like, could have ran straight up this mountain. <laughs> if we go a lot another way, that would be hilarious. Let us know in the comments. I'm sure that like once we actually get people that will comment often, there'll probably be a lot of people screaming at us about the way we do a lot of these things. Yeah. So, bring it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, okay, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. And this is the taller one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to go in because there's, yeah, there's really. Yeah, just get the warp gate and then fly down. And then you don't, then you can just, you know. Ow. That makes your life oh, so hey, look much at that. easier. Two more shrines. Yeah, mark those on the mountain. Don't get knocked off by enemies. <laughs> Oh, he's got a nice shield. Oh, you can't carry any more shields. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> we have crap shields. There we go. That's better. Awesome. Mark that shrine. Yeah, baby. All right, now the other one is... Where's the other mountain? Uh, it's... Oh, turn. You were right at it. Like, it was where you were marking those first shrines. Literally right over there. See? Oh, it's down there? Right Yay. there. Yay. Jump and fly, baby. Drop. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> yeah, son. And drop. Beautiful. All right, I'll come back to these shrines eventually. Yeah, man. Now we got some more shrines. Awesome. We just go this What's way? in that hole over there? Nothing. Oh, it's just a hole. Wow, that's cool. Mountain holes. More ore. I love the way they did this, dude. <laughs> these mountains are really cool. There's a lot of, like, this game is just like... So, wow, I didn't know you could do that with a heavy, I didn't like, either. With a sword. That's awesome. I think it only works when you're flying, because that's the first time that's well, happened. Well, <laughs> it was like a, a down strike, I think, that might have been it. Yeah. Wow, that's there's awesome. There's just so much ore I could get that I don't really want to get right now. Yeah. Hey, there's a stable. Yep. You going to fly to that stable? Um, I'm actually going to fly to the shrine. To the shrine. Oh, yeah. Because you, uh, well, oh, you drop in on it. I usually make an ice pillar and jump over to it. Yeah, it's uh, kind of easier to do, actually. Yeah. Oh, I see. You're gonna like literally drop pretty much on it. Oh, oh, you're still moving. Okay, yeah, we got this. Yeah, son. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. And then you can just warp in there if you need to, or you can just go in. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Might as well. Might as well. We'll complete a shrine. We'll complete a shrine. That's fine. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like shrines. Actually, I really like the shrines. <laughs> uh, some of them are really cool. Some of them. I think actually, like originally when I was doing this, I was like, oh man, you know, the combat ones are difficult, or they were at first, because I could not figure out how to defeat this yeah. entirely. This one's not too hard though. Uh, but uh, but I really like the combat ones. I think those are my favorite. Yeah, I like the ones where you don't have to do nothing. Oh yeah, the the blessing ones or whatever. It's like where it's like you made it here. That's good enough for me. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, I guess we'll give you a thing. Those are really cool. I thought it was nice that they had those, you know? It's like yeah. there's three mazes uh, that if you do, then you get uh, one of those things. Yep. Like in every one of them. Also, you get a piece of armor. If you guys want the barbarian armor Do stuff, all the mazes. Do all the mazes. There's also, underneath one of the mazes, there's a gazillion guardians, and uh, there's a treasure chest that gives you armor that gives you guardian resist. Uh, I didn't get all three pieces because there's a bazillion guardians and I'm not sure if they're all in there or if they're hidden throughout the other mazes. But God, you get like you kill one guardian, you're like, oh, that's awesome, and then you, wow, I didn't know you could do it from over here. I literally climbed up that thing and did it. Uh, it's gotta fall the other way. Yeah, it's yeah, that's that's it. Oh well, yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Wow, that was cool. Uh, it's gotta be yeah, break that one you just put. And put it out in front of it. No, not that one. Not that one. The other one. Yeah. Put it out in front of it. Like, uh, yeah, a little, tried, a little lower down. Yeah, there you go. That should do it. I didn't know you could come over here. I literally climbed up where the ball is and did it <laughs> as I was going. Yeah, that's it. Alright. I did not know it would reach that far. How did you get over there? Over where? Over there. <laughs> uh, you just climb up. <laughs> I just made ice pillars and got over to it. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty great. <laughs> well, now you found an easier way to do it Yeah, next way, time. <laughs> way easier. I was like, man, this one's not hard anyway, but it's like, 
it's uh, interesting because you got to climb those things. <laughs> wow, that's cool. There's a couple ways to do this, apparently. That's yeah. nice. I, I didn't think it would reach that far, so I was just like, well, i got to go this way. Yeah, it reaches pretty far. <laughs> I wondered what the stairs were for. So you don't got to go over there. What the heck is that for? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's really cool. Yep. Now I know. Now you know. And now you know. I'll do it. <laughs> All you guys at home, now you know how to get that, that shrine completed. Yep. We just need one more shrine and we can get another heart. Another heart. But I'm probably going to get a stamina. Stamina gauge. Bump. Okay, yeah. Stamina. Because there's that one statue that you can choose. Oh, oh, yeah, you can always trade if you need to. Yeah. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. I just found that thing and I was like, what? <laughs> okay, well, that awesome. shrine is complete, and yeah. And we made it to a stable. And we're pretty close to Kakariko, so yeah. uh, we'll end this episode here, guys. End this episode here. See you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Later. Bye.